Hey guys, Rob here and welcome back to part three of how to build the Porsche or Poca Lamborghini Huracan. Now in this part three, uh, I was going to continue on finishing the interior, um, but that requires uh, fitting the interior into the main section of the body. Now, as you can see here, I have stripped all the paint off the die cast. Uh, now I've done that with all of the body parts because I'm going to repaint it. Um, but I've run into a little bit of an issue before I can repaint the body. Now, what I'm talking about is is the alignment of the front hood section. Now, I sat the hood on the body when it was painted, when it was red, and I noticed that uh, it had some pretty horrific panel gaps uh, on the front of the model here. So you can actually see on the hood here, it's really big on one side, almost goes down to nothing here. Uh, and then it's big on the inside here and goes to almost nothing here. The gap's pretty parallel on this side, but this side it actually closes up and touches uh, here as well. So by the time this is actually painted uh, in the new paint finish, um, it will actually rip the paint off uh, and it looks pretty atrocious here on here as well. So what I've done, I've actually uh, screwed the hinges onto the hood just to make sure that I know the hood's going to sit in the right place. Um, and I guess what I'm going to have to do here before I repaint the body is to actually correct these gaps. So I'm actually going to have to uh, file some of this center section out through here to actually make a gap because this is touching. So when it's painted, it will, will actually have to go back a little bit. So I need to open up this gap through here. Uh, and I have to equal these gaps up as well. Now, hopefully this isn't too big a gap on the side here and here. Otherwise, I'm going to have to try and add some add some more to the edge of this hood before I paint it. So uh, for a $1,000 pre-painted model kit, um, this would have been completely unsatisfactory if I just assembled it when the model was painted red from the factory by Poca. Uh, so yeah, so that's put a bit of a delay uh, onto painting the model. So uh, I will show you how I'm going to paint the model. I'm actually going to turn it into an Avio, a Lamborghini Huracan Avio limited edition. Uh, and this is the color scheme I'm going to paint it in. Now this is Grigio Telesto, which is a dark gray pearl. Uh, and I'm gonna add the white stripes to the black wheels, the tire lettering, everything like this picture. So, uh, and I am going to make a custom rear wing for the model as well. So. This is what it's going to turn out like, the paintwork. Um, but at the moment, the weather's pretty bad here in Queensland, Australia. Uh, so I can't do any painting at the moment because we're in the middle of winter. So, uh, but I did, as I said, stripped all the paint off the metal parts. That's the main torso uh, of the car. This is the whole rear clamshell section as well. Um, there's no movement in these pieces because that, this is all molded in one piece. It's, this, it's the same as the front section as well. So uh, there's no movement in this front section because it's all one big thick solid piece. So really disappointed with the uh, the fitment issues of the front hood here. So, uh, and the, the doors have been stripped as well. So uh, this way I'll start from primer and go all the way up and put a new paint scheme on this model. So uh, that was the plan was to continue uh, and put all the assembly, uh, assemble all the interior back into the body. Uh, but that is not going to happen uh, because I want to paint the body first, obviously. So today we're going to move on to uh, part six here and this is going to start to assemble the engine so it's a rainy day here so this is something that I can uh, do inside with no worry about the weather outside so uh, let's get into it.
Okay, so that is uh, up to stage eight, which is uh, the heads and all the accessories bolted onto the block. Uh, there was a couple of holes that I had to open up with the knife to get the, the sleeves of the parts to fit in there, but overall, um, reasonably easy to go together. The only thing I would suggest is to uh, attach the belt or the pulley system first and then slip the alternator in behind that otherwise you may glue the position wrong of that part so that's probably the only thing i think and yes probably glue this uh this side engine mount on here uh before you put that head on but it's not super critical you can flex the exhaust system a little bit uh, to slip this engine mount in there but um, overall uh, pretty happy with how this is coming out so far it's quite a sizable uh, engine in this scale um, so I think we'll just keep moving forward uh, and keep uh, assembling this engine so uh, we'll move on to nine now and run through to the end of ten
devil.
Okay, so just a little bit of an update here. Um, the engine is now mounted into the chassis. Um, as you will have seen that I had a bit of trouble putting the screw into the metal for the bracket for this radiator. Uh, now this was a similar problem on the Aventador that uh, these metal threaded holes in all the chassis uh, will not allow a screw to go all the way in. So I did actually buy some of these little uh, screw tap bits. Uh, these were a kit of three for the uh, Aventador Roadster that I built. Um, so it looks like I am going to have to uh, go through all of these holes uh, in the metal parts before I try and put a screw in there. Otherwise the screw will snap off and then you're in a world of trouble. So um, if you're building this, I would recommend, uh, I just bought these off eBay. It is just a, a screw tapping uh, set and I just put it in my pin vise and you basically just wind these and it'll clean the thread out for the screw to go back into. So uh, other than that, the hoses that I've put on here, uh, there's a few that are loose that still have to be attached to uh, other things at a later stage. Uh, and I also spray painted the throttle bodies in Tamiya Silver Leaf as well. Um, I didn't bother painting all the engine in this model because really you don't see any of it when the model is all put together but you will see the throttle bodies and i didn't want those just in the gray molded plastic so just painted those ones before i glued them on i think it makes uh, the engine look a little bit better because you will only really see that when it's together um, but really happy with how this is coming together so far uh, tons of detail in it um, so i think what we'll do uh, we'll keep moving forward there's a couple of more steps here um, I might stop before we get to the suspension, so we might just finish off uh, with these uh, extra radiators and the fuel tanks that have to go in there, uh, and then we'll end up mounting the exhaust system on here as well, and then we might wrap that one up because I think this video is going to be quite long. So uh, let's continue on and make a start on the fuel tanks.
Okay, so that's the fuel tanks and the um, the cooling hoses that it will run to the front of the car. As you can see, I fitted the fuel tanks in there and then I had to remove those fuel tanks to uh, glue on these two radiator hoses. So just a tip there, um, definitely glue these two hoses onto the front of the engine before you put the fuel tanks in. Um, but yeah, so far so good. It's coming together uh, and yeah, I'm not sure what else uh, is to go on where, um, but uh, I think we'll just do the exhaust system now and then uh, that will pretty much wrap up today's video.
Okay, so that is all the uh, sub-assemblies done up to number 12. So that is all the fuel tanks are in the front, uh, the radiator hoses are in there. Uh, as you can see there, uh, I did attempt to glue the exhaust system in there first and then I realized that the sway bar had to be fitted in there. So uh, this will get connected up to the suspension in the next stage, but uh, important to put the sway bar in first uh, before the exhaust system is glued in. So um, yeah, pretty happy with how this has come along. Uh, as I say, there's a couple of spots there where uh, the metal holes for the screws in the metal will need to be tapped out with a uh, with a metal screw tap. Um, but other than that, um, just test fit all the plastic parts. A couple of my parts didn't completely squeeze together once I glued them, which was a little bit disappointing. It f seems like the pins, the molded pins on the parts are actually too long. Um, so you may want to just make sure you definitely test fit all the plastic parts together before you uh, glue them. But uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with how it has come out, how it looks. Obviously, there's more parts to go on here. Uh, I think if we go into the next stages, um, that is fitting the suspension onto this frame, uh, and then some air boxes and things like that. But uh, I'm going to wrap up the video here. I think we've. Uh, I think it's going to be long enough as it is uh, before I edit this down. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed part three of how to build the Poca or Posha Lamborghini Huracan. Uh, if you're new to the channel, why not subscribe? Don't forget to smash that like button if you like the video, and stay tuned. Uh, for part four where I'll continue on with the build. So uh, hopefully I can get the body painted over the next week or so. Um, but yeah, if I don't get that done, we'll just keep moving forward and keep putting this model together. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, but until next time, thanks for watching Rob's Model Cars.